This conference uh, leads right into the Nuclear Security Summit um, that will be taking place in Washington in a couple of months. And so counter nuclear smuggling is one of the most important elements or one of the most important issues uh, that we will be discussing at the Nuclear Security Summit. And so a lot of the work that's been done here today uh, and over the course of the entire conference will play an important role in the leaders' discussion about uh, steps forward on counter nuclear smuggling. What I wanted to do in, in terms of the presentation was to provide uh, an overview of what's been happening in the, nuclear security summit in the Nuclear Security Summit process since its inception in 2010. And um, it, was a, it was a great audience to do that because there was over 120 countries that participated in this event, and that's a much la larger audience or a broader uh, group of countries then participate in the Nuclear Security Summit, so it was an excellent opportunity uh, to socialize some of the ideas that are taking place in the, nu in the Nuclear Security Summit process and um, recognizing that every country has a role to play in nuclear security, it's an opportunity for them, uh, for everyone to understand what, um, what steps can be taken next uh, beyond 2016. Yeah, Interpol's in a very unique uh, position to help, uh, help the nuclear security summit process. Uh, it has a very unique convening power as it relates to law enforcement agencies around the world. Uh, has you know, universal membership so you get every single country and law enforcement plays an, an exceptionally important role in terms of countering, countering nuclear smuggling and so the, the fact that uh, Interpol can reach out to all of these organizations and uh, work on uh, building capabilities on counter nuclear smuggling with these countries is, uh, is a really unique and powerful role.